Hello and welcome. In this episode, we will look at the new tax law 2021 and its advantages on three categories. Child tax credit, the stimulus rebate recovery process, and unemployment as it relates to child support. Back in early 2020, uh, the government passed what is called the CARES Act. That's where they sent out all those uh, stimulus check or recovery checks uh, to citizens. Now, many of you qualified for it, but some of you did not. So we're just going to briefly men mention that you had the first round check, second round, and the third round. So in that act, they delegated that the the IRS, Internal Revenue Service, should hand out payments or checks to citizens to help with their recovery as a result of COVID. Now, of course, it was optional. No one qualified for that check. Some people received it and some people did it, but it was never mandatory. Uh, I've had people on my channel says, I didn't get a stimulus check. Well, the question was, did you qualify? So let's do a short recap of what happened in 2020 in 2020 and how it relates to 2021. The stimulus payment, or what is called the impact payment, they had a third round in 2021, and there's a recovery process for that. Second, they increased the advance child tax credit. That is, they were giving advance on the increase in the child tax credit, and we'll take a look at that. And third, the recovery rebate for those who did not receive the third stimulus check, or are missing any of the other stimulus check, you can recover on your 2021 tax return. Now, all the information we're covering in this episode is found in the Federal Guide to the IRS, which is the 1040 and 1040 SR. We will not review any state uh, issues, only what it affects the federal. So many of you says, why are you covering this topic, Chris? I didn't get a tax refund, and for years while I'm on child support, I do not get a tax refund. Well, I did a video call, How to Defeat the Tax Refund Offset. You want to check that out. But in this episode, we're going to talk about the effects, the advantages of the current uh, 2021 uh, tax law changes. Now, as always, the IRS has an account if you pay taxes, uh, some of you may not have paid taxes, but there's an account you can always log in at the irs.gov slash account. Now, ensure that you are on the IRS website. There's a lot of scammers out there. There's a lot of redirects and Google search. Just ensure that you are on the IRS when you put in your personal information. We did a video call, the non-custodial pay, uh, payers can claim their child. Some, again, some of you have sent me notes. Well, that's never going to happen. Well, if you watch this video, the, the process for non-custodial parent to claim the child, even though they don't have custody, is an out-of-court IRS process. It's not a child support process. You don't have to go to court for it, but there's advantages and strategies there you could use. Now, for some of you who can take advantage of it, great. For some of those that it's not available, it's okay. But this is all education right? It's good to know. Now, because this is taxation that I'm discussing, many of you have your own opinions about whether we should be paying taxes, who we pay taxes to. I have a video called Sovereign Citizen and the Moorish Movement. If you want to post those questions there, uh, I'm happy to, to answer them. But let's not put it on this particular episode because this is all about taxation for those who are paying taxes and what advantages are available to them. As always, we bring you research. We do extensive research. We do, uh, we do a lot of checks. And all we ask is for a donation to keep us going. Uh, we're available on PayPal as well as Cash App. And if you just have a $5 Cash App, please go ahead and send it to us. We'll be happy. We ask for a $25 gift, but any amount will be, is possible. Hello, my name is Chris. And in this session, we're talking about the new tax laws in 2020 and 21 and how it affects the child support process. You can hear us or listen to us on your favorite podcast. That includes Spotify, 
Apple, and Google. In this episode, we will not discuss the innocent spouse process. Uh, I'm aware of it, um, and we did in a video prior to this, but understand that there is an innocent spouse process available. We're just not going to cover it in this session. So let's start off with what is happening in 2022. As you know, you complete your 2021 taxes in the year 2022. The IRS will be sending out letters primarily around the advanced child tax credit and the stimulus economic impact process, which as we now know is called the stimulus. So for the advanced tax credit, that newsletter or letter from the IRS will be 6419. And for the stimulus economic impact, it's 6475. When you receive these letters, please do not throw them out. You will need them in order to complete your tax return. So let's start off with the child tax credit and the advanced tax credit frequently. As you may know, back in July, the Biden administration, uh, what they go past an order that they will give you an advance on your child tax credit. It went from 2000 per child to 3000 and in some cases, depending on the age of your child, $3,600. This impact process now in the letter will help you to reconcile those amount. Now, if you did not get the letter, it's okay. On the IRS portal, there's called the Child Tax Credit Update Portal. In that location, you can get information on the Advanced Child Tax Credit. Now, where does this all information goes? It goes on the credit for qualifying children and other dependents. Now, here we will stress we are providing you the education so you'll know, but please consult your tax professional. Again, we are here to give you the information, but you should do additional research. There are many tax professionals out there that will help you with this. But what we're trying to do is let you know where you should start your process. And we did a video called How to Take Advantage of the Child Tax Credit if you are the non-custodial parent and you can't claim the child. You can use this to uh, with modifications if you're being dragged back into court to do modification. You can use this to offset because remember, the custodial parent is receiving close to $3,000 and in some cases $3,600, again, cr um, credit and cash since July. That is, they have income coming in. In my opinion, the recovery rebate credit is exposed to garnishment as well as the unemployment is also exposed to garnishment. Garnishment is the process by which child support uses to come after men. However, there are things you could do to offset that. Can you prevent it? No, but you can fight back uh, to offset that. We have information about how to fight back uh, for garnishment on our masterclass website. That's child support newzendler.com so let's start off with your W-4 in 2020 the IRS rolled out a new form called the W-4 where you've updated your status your information within the IRS yes this is a new form uh, that many of you have completed and if you have it this is a good time to ensure that your status is correct we did a video on how to, you know, where what's the information inside of this, but you can check it out. So let's move to what is called the recovery rebate or the stimulus check process. If you didn't get the third payment, which was the $1,400, you can claim that on your current tax return, which is 2020. And with, that's the letter that the IRS is sending out, the letter 6475. So again, keep that. So what will you do? You will reconcile what you did not receive and also recover what was available to you. There are frequently asked questions on this re uh, rebate recovery process and the current information on the website is dated January 13th, 2020. Now a reminder, 
the stimulus stimulus payment and the recovery payment it is not income I know that child support would like to say well we take money from you from all sources no they take money from income this is not income so this is part of our education is to push back on the child support agency now on your current tax form 1040 and again once you've updated your status on the W-4 you will find the recovery process is on line 30 of the 1040 now again this is not tax advice but we're just pointing out where this is located and where you should be looking at the number for where to put the recovery how does that help well let's say you only receive a portion of your recovery check your stimulus check well this is where you do the calculations you can decide how to get the remainder of your payments so now let's turn to what is called the unemployment the unemployment is on what is called the 1099 G is in George that is the form that your state and federal put the, the amount that you receive on the 1099 G form now do not confuse the 1099 G with the 1099 process again 1099 is an IRS label there are many 1099 categories this just happened to be one of them so in 2020 let's look back in 20 in 2020 on your 2019 tax return there was a ten thousand two hundred dollar unemployment exclusion that is you would not pay taxes on that amount and that was great that was wonderful however in this year's tax return there is no longer any exclusion you're being charged taxes on the entire amount so you want to ensure that you receive the full unemployment but understand that it will be taxed at its full rate the IRS has a publication dated again January 2022 that has frequently asked questions about the impact of unemployment for your child for for taxes but also for people on child support the unemployment is one of those areas in which they try to garnish uh, from you now we did a video call give back my unemployment yes you have to fight the agency for your unemployment in fact you have to fight the agency for every source of revenue that you have they want to capture everything from you you and unfortunately you say some people say how, how can I prevent this well you could try but usually have to wait for something to happen in order for you to challenge it now many of the solutions we have that we don't show on our our videos are in our master class which is child support dot newsendler.com so here we are at the end of the presentation uh, again if you have any questions uh, please feel free to send it to us uh, we ask that you subscribe to our channel as well as hit the notification notification bell and as always we are asking for donations to keep our channel going to help us to bring you the research that you need in order to challenge the child support and this is the end of our presentation thanks have a good day